come my lady, come come my lady, you're my butterfly. Talk about your time on Celebrity Rehab and, and Sober House. Yeah. How was that experience for you? Um, I mean, I, what made you initially kind of sign up? Well, I was amazed at how uh, screwed up my life got. Really, I was just like, wow. It was like, you know, you know, an overnight disaster. I, you know, like I was this like kid who just loved making music and we were on tour and, I, you know, it was what I always wanted to do. And then you can't ever predict or guess that you're gonna have a song that's that massive yeah. and all of a sudden you know we went from you know we were we were bad kids but i mean all of a sudden i had the really deep pockets and i had a lot of money and uh obviously as a songwriter i think like i'm a really emotional creature and and then you know you you start wondering like a lot of my close friends passed away or disappeared and all of a sudden i had this crowd of people around me that were like they know you've got money. Yeah, it was all of a sudden everything was just like I was like I don't know if I like this and and then I went through a breakup with my wife who I had my first baby with and uh, I kind of had like a midlife crisis and was like uh, mad at the world. The world. <laughs> yeah. I, I I had a you know me and God got in an argument. <laughs> and, uh, Did he win? <laughs> of course he won. Yeah. <laughs> You know, at the end, I was like, why did I do this? <laughs> um, I can't win. But, uh, you know, uh, it was uh, a learning experience. And then what happened is Dr. Drew was a friend of mine. I'd done Loveline with him a few times. And he came yeah. to me and he was like, you know, we're doing this thing that's never been done before. And I think you could help a lot of people because kids look at you. And, and it will, you know, and, and it turned out to be really good for me because I think a lot of the people on the show, like I was one of the youngest people who had done it. And, yeah. and a lot of people weren't really there to fix their careers as much as fix their life me I you know of course I wanted to fix my life and I wanted to do better but I also was like I'm I'm still like young enough to be putting out these records and it's really really hindering on on my success and my happiness and and what I want to be doing and so I went in there more like I want to get myself together so I can continue doing what I love doing and uh, and I've been able to do just that but it was also cool because Butterfly got so big, it almost got too big. I was like, stop, stop. And it, it went from being something cool and unique. The crazy town frontman that is Shifty Shell Shark posted several cryptic messages on social media two months before his passing on. I welcome you guys back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video. So, in late April, we are, so, we are seeing actually the musician who passed away that was on Monday at the age of 49, you know, after battling with addiction for much of his life, you know alluding to his personal struggles in what would wound up actually and actually resulted in him into uh, his demise his final instagram posts when we happen to look through as you can see on the screen will leave um, a lot to be desired you know one post from april 28th like you can see on the screen featured the message the black sheep the old darks the rejects the eccentrics the loners the lost and forgotten more often than not these people have the most beautiful souls then there was another instagram photo where he actually said true love long beach you know and he captioned it further with um i'm a lover i'm, I'm a lover than a fighter but the one i need to love more instead of fight with is myself mr shifty true love sober alive and grateful so you know it seems uh, the man you know was struggling with um mental health issues addiction of obviously the the uh, no, the authorities have not come out you know to clearly state the cause of death and the uh, the, the the way how he passed on but we all know and it's been common knowledge like you've heard in that interview he held in 2012 with nova afm you know talking about his rehab you know how he went into the rehab the addictions and stuff like that so um he's a man who co-founded the crazy town in 1995 and was always open about his struggles with addiction like i've told you and he was a celebrity on his celebrity rehab twice and went on to appear on it it, it i mean on its follow-up show the sober house two times in 2012 um you know the rapper and of course uh, the uh, rocker actually admitted uh, was admitted to the hospital after losing consciousness and fell into the coma before recovering later that year he was reportedly arrested for battery and you know possess possession of 
uh, cork, you know that, and was uh, sentenced to three years probation, you know. Um, he has been in and out of the prison. At some point, he was arrested, you know, driving under the influence, and he had issues all over him. And he often said it, said it, uh, in many of his interviews. But of course, his passing on will leave a very huge gap within the rock and roll world. R.I.P. to the legend.